we're all excited to know more about stock market. For today's video we were going to tackle about a book review about stock market. This book review is all about Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. These are the key takeaways from this book. First published in 1923, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator, is the most widely read, highly recommended investment book ever. Generations of readers have found that it has more to teach them about markets and people than years of experience. This is a timeless tale that will enrich your life, and your portfolio. There is nothing new on Wall Street. There can't be because speculation is as old as the hills. Whatever happens in the stock market today has happened before and will happen again. It takes a man a long time to learn all the lessons from all his mistakes. They say there are two sides to everything. But there is only one side to the stock market, not the bull or bear sides, but the right side. If the unusual never happened, there would be no difference in people, and there wouldn't be any fun in life. The game would become merely a matter of addition and subtraction. It would make of us a race of bookkeepers with plotting minds. There is nothing like losing all you have in the world to teach you what not to do. And when you know what not to do to lose money, you begin to learn what to do to win. The reason is that a man may see straight and clearly and yet become impatient or doubtful when the market takes its time about doing as he figured it must do. That is why many men in Wall Street, who are not at all in the sucker class, not even in the third grade, nevertheless lose money. A stock speculator sometimes makes mistakes and knows that he is making them. And after he makes them, he will ask himself why he created them, and after thinking it over cold-bloodedly a long time after the pain of punishment is over, he may learn how he came to make them, and when, and at what particular point of his trade, but not why. The professional concerns himself with doing the right thing rather than making money, knowing that the profit takes care of itself if the other things are attended to. A trader gets to play the game as the professional billiard player does, that is, he looks far ahead instead of considering the particular shot before him. It gets to be an instinct to play for position. A trader, in addition to studying basic conditions, remembering market precedents and keeping in mind the psychology of the outside public as well as the limitations of his brokers, must also know himself and provide against his own weaknesses. Speculation in stocks will never disappear. It isn't desirable that it should. Warnings cannot check as to its dangers. You cannot prevent people from guessing wrong, no matter how able or how experienced they may be. But today, and, and as trading in everything, almost every industry in the world is represented. It requires more time and works to keep posted, and to that extent, stock speculation has become much more difficult for those who operate intelligently. The last one is the only way to get a stock price to increase is for people to buy it. The only way to move it down is for people to sell it. When you think about who is buying and selling what quantity in this batch and what quantity in total at what time, that's where the real story is. That's all. Thank you for watching. Kindly follow our page for more info about stock market.